under, and uh, which is nice. Even though it says Hopstar on it, uh, it's still a good thing. Um, let's let's get into what we were talking about before we took the break. Okay, uh, Dave, we have a bunch of different dates which I put on our Facebook page. I think Twitter, you put it on Twitter too. Uh, I don't recall if I did that or not. You might have. Uh, but Facebook, we put it on the Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. A bunch of different uh, important dates for the loons this year. And Dave, uh, Stevens, you're going to run those off. Right Absolutely. Now. And yeah, I think it's it's important. I think it's kind of interesting, really. And because you think of it, oh, we're in the off season. It's going to be months mm-hmm. and months of boredom and, you know, not there's really nothing going on. No, not really at all. And I'll read off the not dates really. real quick. But yeah, there's a lot going on. Beginning tomorrow, and we'll, I'll come back to this, but beginning tomorrow, the 26th of November, is the option exercise deadline. And. Mm-hmm. We'll get into much more detail further, but then just moving on, then coming into December, you got the 8th, which is, we already talked about, the cup final, so mm-hmm. that's a big day on the calendar. Mm-hmm. Not so much for the loons, but they'll no. be watching. No. And then but the important part of that, just after that final, literally the day after, on the 9th, you've got a half-day trade window, and that'll be interesting. Mm. I'm sure we'll talk about that in future podcasts, like most of these dates. But that'll be a big day on the 9th, and two days later... Uh, we brought it up last podcast, but December 11th, that's your expansion draft for yep. FC Cincinnati. Yep. So that, that'll be a big day. And then also on that same day, just an hour after the draft ends, that's when free agency starts. Mm-hmm. So that's a huge day. And then still on December 12th, the next day, you have the MLS waiver draft. Won't go into details, but it's it's days to remember here. And then on the 14th and 20th, respectively, you have the re-entry draft. So basically, bottom line, December is a big month following yeah. the final, just yeah. because that's it's when huge. all your drafts start. So mm-hmm. big day, and then I guess a day in December that we're all going to look forward to. Date hasn't been announced yet, but uh, mid December will be the home opener announcement. Oh yeah! So we're going to find out at least yeah. when we start the season. March in, and they may not announce a full season at that point, but they're at least going to give us two dates, and that's going to tell us when the first game at Allianz Field will be. Are those seats heated, Sterling? Seats are not heated, but they are oh. cushioned. Oh, there, there you go. That's well, we fine. know the field's heated. We already talked yeah, about that. Yeah, the field's heated. Yeah, yeah. And so. they supposedly have that ceiling ambiance. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm close to the ceiling, so it should be We warm. got heat. We got heat. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, <laughs> December's a busy month, but quite, as a fan, I think that's, you know, what, whatever that day is, that's the one I'm going to be most Let's looking forward to. We'll go, have a lot to talk about. Let's go back, to, just quickly, go back to opening day. Um, the three of us will be at the opening uh, day of uh, the loons at Allianz Field. We all three of us will be there. Right. Uh, Sterling, you've got season tickets. Um, you have three of them, right? Right. Um, it doesn't matter if Sterling gives them to hoo ha or whoever. Uh, oh, Jangles. Stevens and I will be there. We're going to buy tickets. We're all going to be there for that game. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, we have to be. Yeah, and we can meet up beforehand with Hoopa oh, yeah. and Bojangles and Sterling, yeah, yeah, you know, somewhere. If you bring somebody like if you bring Andrewski, I'll be very upset about. It. I'm just kidding. You can bring him if you want to. You can bring Johnny if you want to. It's fine. We'll we'll pay me, me and Dave will pay to get in. It's cool. You know, I I, I do sense that as being a really good podcast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I highly doubt with a. What if we did a lot of five month old? Yeah, that my wife is going to want to come with. Well, I don't think so. She will. It would be. I mean, it'll be three open seats. Yeah, two open seats. But um, I'm saying is that if you decide to bring Johnny, which you can, Dave and I will find ways to get in there. I, I mean, I guess it just depends on how vindictive we want to be. I think we should well. do a lottery, and obviously, <laughs> Dave Sterling, you would have the best odds of going to that game, but uh, not, it wouldn't be a lot. Why are you going to? Maybe, maybe it's his season tickets. Why don't you do a lottery to, for his season tickets? Just to make Come it, in, just to make it Come interesting. On. Just to make it interesting. He's the one who pays the money. Okay. Jiminy Christmas. Oh yeah, that's true. Good point. Yeah, okay. I mean, at least a ninety-five yeah. percent chance. Jiminy Christmas. We the three of us. It's we will all be there. I mean, we not, might all be sitting together, but we'll be there. So we'll have a lot to talk about in that one. Uh, after that, Dave. Yeah. So getting you know after December, you know, then now you're you're almost into the preseason. But just mm-hmm. real quickly, won't go into details. In early January, third through the ninth, you have the Adidas MLS Player Combine. Yeah. Um, when we do have Adidas or Adidas Generation players on our team, and we'll, we'll see what happens there. Followed by January 11th, the MLS Super Draft. So, oh, yeah. 
again, you know, it's it's a pretty busy January and December. Um, and finally, we'll get in finally mid January at some point. That's when we're going to know the entire slate of, slate, of our yeah, schedule. Yeah. Um, and then before you know it, um, it says, you know, they have it on here, you know, January, February, that's when the preseason begins. So yep. we're, we're going to be there before you know it. And yeah. I think uh preseason usually starts that first week of February. Yep. We don't have much of an off season it, really. Yeah. And they don't, they don't give it an exact date on the mm-hmm. start, but it just says mid, um, just mm-hmm. says January, but I'm assuming that's late January after the schedule. But all right. So let's so, go back to boom. number. Yep. The number one date numbers. on our list, Tomorrow. which is, is. Tomorrow, relevant yeah. to this podcast because mm-hmm. it is November 26th. It is Monday, mm-hmm. uh, which is the option exercise deadline. And so really what that is, is it's going to be a big day, really, I think. And especially um, segues right into what we're going to talk about next. But mm-hmm. that's essentially where teams are going to make their first moves for next season, you know, basically by announcing whose options are and are not going to be exercised. And so we're going to find out which players are receiving offers for new contracts. Well, let's let's get one thing out of the way right away, right now. Is uh, Kalman has been signed through twenty twenty right. already? Um, that was announced uh, a couple days ago, and and it's the only announcement. And it's the only announcement we've yeah. seen and, so far. Yeah. Though Alexi Gomez has made it pretty clear, I think that he's not coming back. Well, that's good. We don't because, want him back anyway. I mean, I think it was the week after the season he had already sent the thank you and thank God. But let's go back to Kelman a little bit. Um, I think, and we talked about this uh, off the podcast, but I think one of the reasons why they announced that he was resigning until twenty twenty is because he's one of us. Right, he's a Minnesotan. Uh, he uh, holds that Minnesota legacy on a <laughs> on a major team, just like Joe Mauer, just like Adam Thielen. Just like uh, the Wild uh, with uh, Suter and uh, uh, what's his name? Parisi. Parisi. Uh, just like that. It's a Minnesota name. Parisi. And, the, and, the, and the, the Timberwolves with Jones as well. You know. But yeah. Uh, but w- so would I be wrong in saying? And, and I could be. But is he our? Is he not our best defensive player? I mean, mm, I don't know. I mm, okay. So uh, I believe I said this in the last mm, podcast. To was that John? Yeah, yeah, I would like to go outside and fight you. Okay. Yeah. No. He's yeah, not. you did say that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, I was only. Yeah, I only brought that up. You know, because there's a couple. Mm. There's are a couple other defenders on that were on the roster last year. That he's I'd a like he's back, a good but, defender. Uh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's a good defender. But again, I think the reason why this team is doing this is because he's one of us, Minnesota guy. He gets those fans who are big on Minnesota people into right. the stands. And guys who aren't like us, because I don't think any of us care about Minnesota guys. Great story. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think we care about it as much as other people do. Yeah, I mean, I kind of look at, at Brent Coleman as kind of a Honda Civic. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's fitting because Honda is the regional Honda dealers are sponsor of Minnesota United. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's not flashy. Mm-hmm. Um, he's reliable. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't, I don't think he's, if I were to pick out a car, no, yeah, I wouldn't pick out Honda Civic. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe as a car for my daughter, <laughs> no, as a, for, for sure as a car for my daughter, <laughs> you know, um, but for me personally, I wouldn't pick it out. And, and, I think he's great. I think he belongs on the roster. Yeah. Uh, and, I just and, don't. Uh. And fair enough because we don't know, you know, and maybe we will later, um, but we don't necessarily know the terms of those contracts. It's not no. like he's going to be, he may or may not be a highly paid. We don't know, but that's true. But they, all we know is they signed him. He's the only player they've signed so far. But there's a reason for that. Um, we don't even know if he'll be starting next year. At no, this point. we don't. But again, I'm going to go back to it, finalize it. The reason why we say he, we signed him is because he's a Minnesota guy. Yeah. And it makes it nice for where did the loons sign the Minnesota guy until twenty twenty? It could and, be. That's you know, I and think, he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. I think it has a lot to do with how uh completely shitty the FO has kind of been lately. Yeah. And so they kind of they saw the benefit of having him on the roster. Yeah, yeah. And so they took advantage of how it would appease the fan base. So before, I, I really do. I don't even think you necessarily have to go to the Minnesota side. It's simply, he was a fan favorite. Yes, of course, he was. of course he was. Of course he was, And so, a way to kind of 
give the fans what they want yeah. in a package that's not going to cost the team a whole lot. And let's sign. Uh, and you're saying your Minnesota fan favorite from back in the day. Remember we remember we did mid season with the Ramirez thing, right? Let's. Uh, I mean, Kalman. Let's let's we'll keep Kalman for a while, and let's keep. A bar. I'm sure we're going to see an announcement about a bar for a oh, while. Oh, yeah, because he has an option. He has an option. And, yeah. You know, and maybe we don't have an answer to the question I'm going to raise. Is But, I mean, does how did they make that move earlier? You know, it was, what, two weeks ago now. How did they make mm-hmm. that move ahead of, you know, tomorrow's, you know, the option exercise deadline? Is it because he didn't have an option one or the other? I'm and thinking, yeah. I think it's a free I don't agent. know for sure. And that being said, you know, free agency hasn't mm-hmm. opened up. So I'm a little, you know. I, I think... And I could be completely wrong about well, at this. Least if you're, uh, but I think that up to the free agent deadline day, yeah, what is that? The eleventh, the eleventh, yeah. Um, teams can freely sign, yeah. Um, any is any player there. on their roster. Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. make sense. So, um, yeah. anybody who they don't sign on the roster will then becomes a free agent. Say, free yeah. agent. say tomorrow we decline so and so's option they but become a free agent well now that might be waiver i don't know that'd be waiver because i don't think they can become a free agent until after the championship game is till after that that date mm-hmm. right so yeah. actually that's true i would imagine that they could they could um choose not to do an option mm-hmm. and still before december 11th renegotiate a contract i have a feeling it's any guys who are technically free agents now with all the teams who are not in the playoffs your team can re-sign you yeah. as much as they want to but if you decide not to take it at that point free agency happens then right. you're yeah. good yeah. to go since, i think that's how it yeah, works. So. since i brought it up i'll just go a couple little details so af- after the expansion draft free agency begins mm-hmm. and just uh, just details um so it basically says after the draft concludes the expansion draft on the 11th Free agency will begin for all out-of-contract players who meet the requirements. Now, a little more detail. Then on December 12th, that's the MLS waiver draft. Um, That's when the MLS teams will have their chance to select players who have been waived, like we're talking about tomorrow, Mm -hmm. and do not qualify for free agency and re-entry draft. And now while I don't have all the details, um, basically these would be the younger players who are new to the league. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, because there are age limits on re-entry. I know that. So... My feeling is that that's the case. Then the loons have to go ahead and re-sign a bunch of players in the next couple of weeks here. Well, yeah, because they have no guaranteed contracts. No guaranteed contracts before the expansion draft happens. Then they have to say, "Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna protect you guys, and not protect other guys." Right. And that becomes kind of a whole like game of chance. It's like, well, we signed you for this amount, but we're gonna leave you unprotected and hope that Cincinnati gets you but we talked about this before sterling the fact that cincinnati came from the lower leagues a different whole different concept of what the the expanse draft is going to be because yeah atlanta came from nowhere right we came from the lower league we already had players kind of set up and we kept a handful and we kept a handful cincinnati's gonna have the exact same thing they're gonna keep a bunch of guys and they're going to fill their roster around those guys. Yep, and so, they've signed a few of them already. And so they're not looking for like the big, you know, big money guys. They're looking for fillers around. Yeah, them. probably. So it'll be interesting to see what. Yeah, happens. I, I think it's going to be a completely different expansion mm-hmm. draft from, um, especially LA's. Uh, but yeah, from it's going to be more, more similar to what mm-hmm. we did. Yeah, it, I mean that was. It, that draft was still kind of weird because Atlanta was part of it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they had that L.A. situation. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be – that'll so, be a lot harder chess game to for uh, deciding who you're going right. to leave. Yeah. And we'll get into that when it comes up. But let's talk about – let's talk about the guys here who we think should be gone and who should be kept and who should be – I don't know. That's yeah. Yeah, so, whipped. you know – I, I spent all day yesterday on the couch, not okay. feeling well. Yes. So You're the MVP. I had significant time to you know go well above and beyond my homework. And, well, let's, um, let's get into this a little bit um, because I'm looking at your thing right now. Um, there's three guys in the top here that I'm I'm gonna agree with you on. 
I believe that Ibsen 